Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we are going to take a look at the adjustments that they've made to Zenkai Souls and just boosting in general. So they've added in a Zenkai bonus battle uh, which is pretty good and it's yeah something new and something interesting that they've added into the game obviously getting zenkai souls was quite difficult uh so they've made that easier they've also changed how the soul exchange medal works so you just gain a lot more souls like normal rising souls have gone from a thousand to three thousand and you know zenkai souls you can now actually exchange for which is great uh, and considering how much like how many zenkai souls we actually need to do stuff it is a pretty like good change because now with more zenkai means n need for more zenkai souls so yeah um yeah pretty straightforward there's the new zenkai battles they are pretty simple there's one for each type you will get a certain amount of souls as you complete each one uh and you only get three attempts per day so make sure that you do all three attempts that you have per day um, they're going to be a good source of zenkai souls for you but you need to do them regularly for it to really matter also if I can suggest anything I would suggest focusing on one type of Zenkai soul rather than just trying to do three different ones each day rather focus on trying to finish Zenkai awakening a single unit at a time rather than trying to focus on several of them or if you are going to focus on several of them then focus on three that you are going to use in your team uh, that you want to use rather than like trying to awaken several units that you either not going to use or you maybe will use it's just for me, I don't know, I, I find it to be a lot better if you do that. Um, so rather do that, and then you should be more than fine uh, to go. Uh, so yeah, that'll be a lot better. But as you can see, the stage is not really noticeably difficult in any way, shape or form. Uh, all of the stages are pretty straightforward. There's no real rocket science to any of them. They're as hard as the other bonus battles. Uh, so yeah. Honestly, there's no real major thing about it. Like, there's no huge, like, oh, yeah, this is a problem, or that's a problem, or this is an issue. Um, it's very, very straightforward. So, yeah, for me, I think it's good that they've added this into the game. Obviously, it helps out a lot of players. It helps out new players as well, which I think is definitely needed. Because, you know, for new players, especially, like, coming in, there's like a Zenkai every two weeks, but like, how do I get Zenkai Souls? How do I get Zenkai Souls? How do I get Zenkai Souls? It's a very needed resource now, comparatively to when there was like a Zenkai every, you know, there was like one every two months, kind of. Now it's a lot more common. They're trying to do it. Obviously, they're trying to create some kind of flaw for the meta, some kind of flaw usability for units by zenkai a lot of older ones. And yeah, I just think, you know, it's good that they've added this in and it's good that they've added in the soul exchange mechanic because that also does help out a lot especially if you have a whole bunch of souls saved up like i do uh it does you know really help out uh, as you can see once you've done them you can skip them so pretty straightforward they give a decent amount of souls like a very decent amount um you can see they're relatively solid like you know based on how much you'd have to soul boost a unit like we'll take a look now uh, but based on how much you'd have to actually soul boost a unit it's still going to take you a while like it's going to take a couple days but it is still better than not having the mission like i said they've changed soul exchange medals as well so you can trade them for zenkai you get 300 zenkai souls which is which is decent um i think it could have been more but yeah I, I just have a lot of units to Zenkai, so I would have liked it to be more, but yeah, overall, I think it is more than fine. Uh, the amount that they've kind of given out there, I think is okay. Uh, and I think at the end of the day, you know, it's more than acceptable. If you go to Soul Booster character, uh, you know, that has been zenkai for example, uh, and you go and you just try to awaken some of their paths, uh, you'll see that it takes um, quite a few, like... Uh, to do one side uh, takes about 500 like we're gonna I've got 500 you can see uh, we're gonna go through and obviously obviously it'll change per ranking but you can see as the balance is diminishing we're gonna get pretty close to our 500 uh, little budget that we have there uh, now 
obviously the main priority is to unlock certain nodes that will give you unique passives but yeah yeah it is one of those things at the rate at which you gain them per day based on the zenkai boost missions to get this many souls will take you about four days or three days or so so it's not too bad but it's obviously not something that's going to make you go super fast it's not like you're going to be able to zenkai awaken every unit but it is what it is but if you enjoyed the video leave a like or leave a comment and i'll get back to you otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one bye